Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, one of my racks that I built uh, for doing wedding ceremonies. Uh, but it's also useful for some universal um, uh, applications such as just a PA or because um, sometimes they just want a PA at a, like a kid's event outdoors or whatever. Um, but also could be useful for uh, a small bar gig with bands and stuff uh, to kind of sound tech uh, a two, three, four piece band. Um, I mean, this, this has a 16 channel uh, mixer in it, so you can definitely mix quite a large band uh, with it. Um, so here, Take a look, uh, we'll just do a little uh, um, video uh, showing you what I have in there and um, check it out, comment below what you guys think. Today I'm doing a ceremony with two Evolve 50s, there's no one over there, a little sub. I have my rack here with two wireless microphones. And my mixer in the back, this mixer, it's all through Wi-Fi. I have full access to every microphone, like A and B, which are clip-ons for the bride and groom. And then I also have the volume for my playlist of music that I can play right off of this via a USB stick. I'll be able to play right off of this. Again, these are amazing little speakers. They'll do a 120 degree angle. First time I'm using this uh, new wireless kit. It's nice, it's clean, you can barely see it. Let's see how it turns out. So, this is my uh, wedding ceremony uh, kit in, um, so here's the back or the front, whatever you want to call it. I was talking in the other video, I was talking about this rack with the UI24, this is the UI16, which I don't need as many channels. Uh, I got a good deal on this one off of Reverb. Um, for a little cheaper. Uh, the, the 12 does the job. It's a lot smaller, but you can't rack mount it. Now, out of the box. I did modify a, six, uh, a 12 uh, for a friend of mine who did a similar setup to me where we just used a blank and bent it and screwed it and then the handle while well, we just drilled two holes because it has the same handle uh, on the 12. So that worked out pretty well um so yeah it is rack mountable for 12 but at the time i could only fund the 16 there's only about a hundred two hundred dollar difference um to get them so might as well get the 16. uh as you can see uh microphone left to well left and right sorry one and two is already plugged in over here um and then we have our master out over here which i just plug in my powered speakers to it at a wedding ceremony and then at the back over here we have two microphones as well as a little drawer with all the lav mics and the bell packs to go with it um, and then a Furman that I modified with a Paracon at the front so you could just power it and uh, you don't have to worry about some wire dangling out of here so I just made my own now the antennas don't fit with the cover closed, so I have to take them out all the time. I put some half waves, just to make sure we have enough reception. Um, I usually sit this on its side, on, on this side, and then I just drop this whole case right next to the tripod to one of the speakers. Uh, I like to be in stereo, add a speaker on each side of the, um, let's call it the, well, the altar, sorry. Um, so you have a nice sound. I like the sound coming from 
where they are and not from behind you like some DJs do. But there's nothing wrong with it if you prefer doing that. I just personally prefer doing that. Now, the reason with this is that now I don't have to have a table with a mixer and a laptop on the side, which kind of ruins the shot sometimes when the photographer's trying to take a picture from afar, especially when it's a wedding that's outside, uh, you kind of ruin that shot in my personal opinion. So this is perfect. It's all wireless. These are clip-on lav mics that I put on the uh, groom and I put one on the officiant uh, or priest. Um, and obviously you can't put a microphone on the bride because they don't really have pockets. Nice white dress, black microphones, doesn't work. So the lav mics pick up pretty well. Uh, not as well, but they, they work. And honestly, as long as people hear what they're saying is what's really, really important. Uh, now this is all wireless, obviously. And because we have a wireless digital board that works off the iPad, I can control all the microphones off of it. Now you're gonna ask me for music, yes. I can plug in a USB right up in here with all my MP3s in folders, organize the way I want it. So I have a folder for cocktail music. So before and after the ceremony, I just play that. And um, I'll show you guys in a little bit uh, the, the, the app itself, how it works, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it. And uh, I can play all the songs from the same software from, from I want to say the app, but it's not app based because it's an IP address, which is amazing, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but that's really, really cool because then I can professionally control the microphones at a very, very high level, overkill even, and the music without having to switch from one device to the other or from an app to the other. Uh, now, the one thing you can't see, I don't use the Wi-Fi on board. I never do. I, I, oh, I never trust the onboard Wi-Fi crap. Like in my other rack, I have an Ethernet at the back, and at the back of this, I Velcroed a um, TP-Link AX50 Wi-Fi 6 router. Um, they come on sale um, on Amazon quite often. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, but yeah, it's Velcro behind this uh, mixer. And as well, I, you probably can't see it, but in here, yeah, you can see it. I installed a an L bracket that also screws into this uh, rack mount behind here. And it goes straight down. And as you can see, I put a blower fan. So, you know, it's a black box. Sometimes these ceremonies in the middle of July, it's plus 30 gets hot in there. So I have a blower fan that blows out of that uh, cable access hole, I guess, uh, is the purpose of that. So now it's a it's an air hole for ventilation for everything. Because this unit does come, not boiling hot, but it comes warm, which is normal. Uh, but I like to make sure it's properly cooled. So comment down below what you guys think, what you guys would do differently. Um, or if you need advice on how to build one, I'd love to uh, help you guys out. And um, yeah, check out my other videos, subscribe, and maybe suggest down below what other videos you'd like for me to do. All right, see you next time.